If you ever get a pain or a tension or restriction on the side of your neck, most folks' instinct is to stretch and lean away and try to get that tissue to lengthen more by increasing the stretch and tightness feeling. Well, maybe that muscle's tight because it's trying really hard to pull these two bones together over here. And asking them to move further apart is only going to make that muscle more resistant. Well, there's a simple trick that we can use to invite it to quit that work that it's doing and let the bones drift apart. And it's just a little positional strategy. All right, so if I feel a pain on the right side of my neck, most of the musculature on the front of neck and the side of neck elevate shoulder girdle can help me rotate it inwards. So one of the first unlocking is I am going to turn my palm up. That gets my elbow pointed at the ground and externally rotates my pec major, my teres major, and my latissimus dorsi muscles. Opens those three big strong internal rotators up. Then I'm going to invite my elbow to hang heavy out of my ear. And this works really well. You can get a pillow, you can get a bolster if you have an armrest on your chair. Make sure you have something that you can drop the weight of your arm into. Palm up. Now I'm thinking of my neck as a golf tee and my head as a golf ball on top of that tee. I don't want to tip the tee. I want to just twist the golf ball on top of it. Now what I'm going to imagine is I'm going to take a deep breath and as I exhale I'm going to look with my eyeballs into my armpit. At that same time I'm going to let my armpit feel heavy, my medial condyle or the inside of my elbow feel heavy, and I'm going to let my pinky finger feel heavy. The look with the eyeballs orients the spine to start opening to twist towards my field of vision. That takes these transverse processes and the insertion of these shoulder muscles and tells it to let go. So the back of my head can have length from the other attachment places. And then as I'm creating that length with the suggestion of movement with my eyes, I then invite those muscles to further drop the weight of what they're holding. I think of my first rib, my second rib, the weight of my scapula, my whole arm just gets to drop. And you'll probably find that there's a couple of levels of tension that you can drop this way. Again, elbow down, external rotation, palm up, golf ball head on golf tee, big deep breath. As I exhale, look with my eyes, drop my armpit, elbow and pinky finger. And if my golf tee wants to twist, to help the ball go that way, that's okay. That's that musculature and that range of motion opening up. I just don't want to tip my head forward, so I have to tighten this stuff to keep my head from falling on my lap. Enjoy. Thanks for listening. Like Transcend Bodywork on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned.